Let's calculate the mass of just one molecule of sucrose. So we want to know the mass of sucrose in grams, just one molecule. To do that, what we'll do is we'll find the molar mass for sucrose, and then we're going to divide it by Avogadro's number here. That'll just give us the mass of one molecule of sucrose. So sucrose has a chemical formula of C12H22O11. So for the molar mass, we have carbon, which on the periodic table, 12.01 grams per mole, and we have 12 carbon atoms. Plus we have hydrogen, 1.01 grams per mole. We have 22 of those. And then we add the oxygen, 16.00 grams per mole of the units, and we have 11 oxygens. So what we do is we multiply each thing, and then we add it all up, and we get 342.34 in the units grams per mole. So that's the molar mass for sucrose. So now all we're going to do is divide this 342.34 grams per mole, molar mass of sucrose, by Avogadro's number here. Let's use a conversion factor, though, just to keep our units straight. We'll get the same answer either way. So we have 342.34 grams in one mole of sucrose. So this is the molar mass. We multiply that. We know that one mole of any substance has Avogadro's number. So one mole of sucrose atoms, that just has Avogadro's number there. Now when we do the math, we have moles on top and on the bottom. So those cancel out. That's going to leave us with grams. So we're still just dividing the molar mass by Avogadro's number, but with the conversion factor, we know the units cancel out. That gives us 58.87 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. That's the mass of one molecule of sucrose in grams. We know that this is a really small number, and that makes sense because molecules, they're pretty small. We could change it to scientific notation. We could move the decimal point over here and then make this to the negative 22nd. And some teachers like to have it in this format. Either way, to recap, we divided the molar mass for sucrose by Avogadro's number down here, and that gave us the grams for one molecule of sucrose, C12 H22O11. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.